Hello everyone, here I am doing exercise 10.2, second question, chapter is algebraic expression of class 7. So the question is, if p is equal to minus 2, find the value of. So they have given three expressions here. We have to substitute p value is equal to minus 2 in the given expression and get the value of it. So here is the first question. So it is 4p plus 1. Substitute p value is equal to 2. So if we are going to put that, it will be 4 in place of p, I am going to put minus 2 plus 7. So multiply 4 and minus 2. So 4 into 2 is 8. There is a negative sign. So it will become minus 8. So minus 8 plus 7. So it is like you are adding a 2 integers here. 1 is negative, 1 positive. So minus plus is minus. Subtract the numbers 8 minus 7 is 1. And the number here 8 is greater. Its sign is negative. So it will be minus 1. So the first answer is minus 1. Second question. We have minus 3 p square plus 4 p plus 7. In place of p, again we are going to substitute minus 2. So minus 3, it is minus 2 square plus 4 into minus 2 plus 7. So we are going to first open the bracket, multiply minus 2 into 2. It's like minus 2 square is 4. So minus 2 into minus 2 when you do, it's 2 twos are 4. And minus into minus is plus. So we will get 4 here. So minus 3 into 4 plus 4 into minus 2 is minus 8. So minus 8 plus 7. I am going to multiply it minus 3 and 4. It is minus 12. It's minus 8. Then plus 7. First, we are going to solve the first two integer, minus 12 and minus 8. It's minus minus, so it will become plus, like we have to add them. So 12 plus 8 is 20, and the sign will be same negative, because 12 is greater, its sign is negative, it will be minus 20. And then plus 7. So we have integers with the opposite sign, so we have to subtract. Plus minus is minus, right? so we subtract them. 20 minus 7, when you do it, we'll get here 13. And 20 is greater, its sign is negative, so we're going to put minus sign here. It's minus 13. Then the next question. So I'm going to erase everything here. This is the last question. So in third question we have a very big expression. It's minus two p cube minus three p square plus four p plus seven. In place of p substitute uh, two. So this is equal minus two. So minus two into minus two cube minus 3 in place of p put minus 2 so minus 2 square plus 4 into minus 2 plus 7 so this is equal to minus 2 into minus 2 cube which means you are multiplying minus 2 here 3 times so it will be 2 twos are 4 4 twos are 8 we'll get 8 here minus into minus is plus plus into minus is minus or if you see a odd number of negative sign here we have one two three three negative sign three is an odd number right so your final answer is going to have a negative sign you can remember in that way so here we'll get minus eight then minus three into minus two square will be minus two into minus two so two twos are four and minus into minus is plus or you can see there are two negative sign two is an even number so final answer will be a positive little positive sign there so four plus 4 into minus 2 is minus 8 plus 7. Now we are going to multiply. So minus 2 into minus 8. 2 2 8s are 16. Minus into minus will become plus. Then minus 3 4s are 12. I am going to solve this two part. Minus 8 plus 7. Minus and plus is minus. So just subtract them. It will be a 1. And 8 is greater. Its sign is negative. So we will we'll get minus here. So next we are going to solve this. So I am going to solve the last two term minus 12 minus 1. Minus minus is plus. So 16 we are going to add them. 12 plus 1 is 13 but sign will be negative here. 12 is greater its sign is negative it will be minus. And the last one 16 minus 13 is 3. So answer for this question here is 3. So I hope this question is clear. See I have solved from back to front. Some people solve the first two integers and th this all the last one. So it, it, it doesn't matter the order how we are solving it but the final answer will remain same. So I hope this question is clear. In case you have further question or doubt you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.